think the first thing they need to pay is their, their living expenses on where, where they're living, their rent, their mortgage payments. Um, and again, and then work their way down from there, you know, the credit cards, the car payments next. But again, as, as I said earlier, work with your lenders, let them know uh, what you have. This is how much you got in the stimulus package. So this is how much I would like to pay because some of the mortgage companies will say, okay, let's, you know what, if we don't defer the full amount, full amount because you got this good, good stimulus package, maybe we will say you pay only interest only for the next couple of months. And then you can use the excess funds then to pay down your credit cards and make your car payments. So those are the kind of programs that each lender can work with you. But again, it, it just requires you to tell them exactly what you have so they can tailor the program for you. Okay. And so tell me, you know, is your bank doing anything right now to help people during this time period? Yes, absolutely. We are talking to them and we're taking them each one case by case basis. We're talking to them and, and we talk to them over the phone and we say, okay, tell us what you have. What are all your expenses? And we're kind of doing financial advice right over the phone with them. And we're working through them and saying, okay, if this is what you have, this is going to be our recommendation and doing exactly what I'm suggesting that the people do. So we do work with them. We're giving them deferments. Uh, we're taking interest only payments. It all depending by case, you know, where, the, where that person is on their financial position that will do something for them.